John here, guys, and today we're talking about the Team Black Sheep Pod Racer, the Source Pod Racer. The open source rear camera mounted 5 inch ultralight racing frames that comes in at only 56 grams. And I have come up with a special formula for you guys that all uh, that dry weight comes into 861 grams. And this thing gave me eight minutes of flight time doing some freestyle flight maneuvers, lots of punches and power loops included. So the ticket to this build has been the really interesting Beta FPV 1805-2550KV motors on 5 inch. I was able to achieve that 8 minutes of freestyle flight with a tiny 850mAh 4S pack. That's right, a tiny little pack that I would fly on a 2.5 inch got me eight minutes of flight. And on two and a half inch, I might only get three minutes of flight. So what is the unnaturally long life that is in this thing? Well, let's go over the build very, very quickly. I'm using the J Hemku, the JHEMCU 30 amp ESC flight controller stack, or not really, it's a toothpick board all in one in there. I'm using the nameless uh, VTX that goes up to 400 milliwatts. I'm using the Runcam Nano Phoenix camera. That is a really cool camera that uh, I'll have uh, more notes on on the channel very soon. This uh, UXII micro antenna kind of right here at the back. Crossfire Nano, of course. And uh, they do have a little slot for the Crossfire Mortal T up here. But I didn't use that. The way that these motors sat, that would have put that right on the prop line. So I just zip tied it to the underside of these uh, horseshoe U-shaped arms. These are horseshoe arms or U-arms. What do they call those things? These are a boomerang arm where you have two arms that are connected at the front, two arms that are connected at the back. It has sort of a built-in bracing thing uh, on there. I really like that. The frame is pretty simple. It only has um, th three unique pieces of carbon, uh, which is really cool. I love the minimalistic approach, and this sort of resin-printed 3D canopy is really a beauty to behold. I mean, it looks like something from the future. If you've never flown a quad like this that has the camera mounted at the rear, um, you really should try it at least once with a build like this. Uh, I remember back in the day flying the one bus by Aerodyne RC, a Russian manufactured um, drone company. And when our top racer, Ivan, a pilot named Lamone, came to town several years ago, he was flying this weird metal cage rear camera mounted frame that was like a terrifying tank flying through the air. He would just smash you out of the air time and time again. Uh, and eventually I got a few of those off of him so that I could try it and it flew amazing. Uh, so it's really cool to be able to have a rear mounted camera uh, once again. This thing though, <laughs> on some actual gates. Uh, man, it was really fun. I had a lot of power. The top end, you know, not quite as much as a racing style five inch, but that initial thrust uh, is definitely there. I almost feel like this formula might be a little bit more conducive to park flying or freestyling. Um, because of its super light weight, I actually had a little bit of a hard time keeping it nose down in the turns. And what I mean by that is you're going full throttle, full throttle, full throttle, you kind of let off the throttle a little bit to do a sharp turn. Then as you full throttle again to go on to the next thing, um, that when you let it off and push it back on it, with the weight so low, you tend to hop in the air just a little bit. Now I could get used to that and I could race with this full time if I wanted to, but since I'm most likely gonna stay with a standard racing style formula, I don't actually wanna mess up my muscle memory too much by taking this on the track too much. Now the other way I could get around that is just to fly a bigger battery. I could get one of those 1100 milliamp 4S packs that I'm probably going to try with this formula and that might increase the weight enough to where you're not gonna have that issue. 
Um, it's just so precise, so light, so nimble, so responsive. Um, I don't know if these T-mount 5-inch props are really going to be good enough for the rigors of racing. I did kind of land in a bush one time, and one of them just like tore off the hub. Now, these are the HQ varieties. The gym fans are supposed to be the preferred prop for this. Maybe those won't have those issues. A few little gate hits, though, and I didn't have it happen again, so maybe it was just a weird fluke. Um, either way, though, it's such a handsome ultralight, fairly inexpensive quad. If you add up the whole thing, the ESC flight controller board is 38 bucks. The frame is 26 bucks. That is like 66 bucks i think motors are another 60 bucks so that's like 126 bucks 30 bucks for the receiver so you know however much for the camera it comes out at a very low price altogether for a five inch park flying racer i just it's so fun guys it's so fun now, if you're used to flying lighter quads on the race course, like twigs or other four or five inch light quads, then this is going to be right up your alley. And I definitely would recommend taking it on the race course. Uh, I think that this formula may not be quite as durable as some of those um, made for racing, but because it's so light, you're going to have so much less inertia, the hits that you're going to take are going to be with so much less force so i think you'll in the end find it to be a wash uh, and you'll get a lot of that flight feel i have seen at least one person crack this canopy so you may want to get a spares the files on thingiverse so you could print your own uh, if you have a printer at home which is a really cool thing about all of the open source designs uh, i was considering designing my own freestyle version of this that would utilize these same uh boomerang arms i don't know if i'm gonna end up doing that or not but let me know in the comments if anybody's interested in that what do you think guys are you racing park flying um flying around with these ultra light quads putting an exceptional camera on here like this phoenix nano it really does feel like a special combination great job on this team black sheep as always i really appreciate the continued support for the community by blessing us with these unique frame designs so that we can try some of these concepts, the box frame, the rear camera mount, and an ultra cheap $26 price, and really form our own opinions on the different available physical manipulations of our racing quads, of our freestyle quads, of our park flyers, and note how those changes reflect and manifest in differences in the way that we fly and enjoy FPV. Thanks guys.